Good morning, it's me. I'm back. I'm Stephanie Flath, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, and I'm coming to you live uh, Wednesday morning. It is September 4. I shouldn't even have to look at my computer for the date because the new catalog went live this morning. Woo! -hoo! Uh, so it is 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and I'm live on Facebook, but I always uh, upload my uh, video to YouTube, so you could be watching this much later. Uh, so you can find me every Wednesday morning, 10.30 a.m. Uh, on my Facebook business page, which is, if you don't already follow me, uh, it is facebook.com slash dazzled by stamping. And um, any other time, if you're looking for uh, project ideas or want to order... <sighs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, if you want to order or check out classes or anything like that, uh, my website is dazzledbystamping.com. Uh, so you can go there and um, check stuff out. So I'm going to refresh my screen. Let me know when you get on. Uh, I always refresh my screen because... Um, when I'm stamping, then I still can see you. See comments, that is. Mm. Good morning, Rebecca. How are you? My computer is being slow this morning. Are you the only one joining me today, Rebecca? Was it hard to find me or something? Maybe everybody's computers are being slower. Maybe Facebook's just slow this morning. Um, okay. Just a second. Good morning, Marsha. Thank you for sharing already. Um, if you're ever in a chug, it was hard to find your life. Huh. I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, but I'm glad you made it. Marsha, if you're in the mood for chocolate at all, I still have some for you. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. So I'm all refreshed. I can see comments and, um, I'm ready to go. So, um, so I already placed an order bright and early this morning. Some would call it, uh, last night. This is in the middle of the night. And um, uh, I, I just love some of the things in this catalog. It makes me so happy. One of my favorite things, well, I know, but it's been sitting here for a long time. <laughs> um, so it must be everybody loves. One of my favorite items in the catalog is the peppermint embellishments. And... Um, I don't know if anything's changed because it was going back and forth while I was trying to order it. Um, I think everybody loves those. So as of, I don't know, 2.30 this morning sometime, the peppermints were gone. Unless something changed, the peppermints were gone until September 16. So um, I got several and anyway, they're just so cute. I just love them so much. I've used them on a few cards already. A um, couple different swaps. Hi, Sherry, you're here. <laughs> You've been busy lately, right? Um, uh, so anyway, uh, I'm really excited about the catalog. And I'm showing you two different um, themes of product. Two different. It's not a suite. One is a suite, but I'm not even using everything in the, in the suite. And one is kind of a hodgepodge of things, and, and and I just love it. So the catalog went live today, so that means everybody can order from the mini catalog today. Uh, and there's also a scrapbooking um, brochure that went live this morning. And there's actually some really cute stuff on it. I'm not sure if I want to get whole scrapbooking kits, but I definitely have a couple different of the designer papers in mind. So I might need to place an order, different order for that. Hi, Carrie. Are you in your group with me? <laughs> she told me she was going to have some people with her 
and was like, what are you showing tomorrow? Do you know? Should I, should we join you? <laughs> Hi, Marlene. Thanks for joining me. Okay. So I'm going to jump right into uh, my randomizer. If you're just new following me uh, or new joining me for the first time, we are... Um, did I say? Yeah, I said hi to Marlene. All of a sudden, I look. It looked different over on my computer than it did on <laughs> on my phone. And you know, I have such a short term memory when I'm on my live. Um, if you're new, following me or watching me for the first time, uh, I do a randomizer. That's what I call it. Uh, it's a it's a website that does random name picking. They're not here yet, so I'll watch until they arrive and catch the rest on replay. Cool. Uh, uh, so everybody who watched with me last time and engaged with me and all that kind of stuff, um, I put you in a list to, um, for you to possibly be able to win what I made last week. Hi, Jennifer. How are you? Uh, is it hotter or, or cooler now for you? I know you were struggling. Somebody... Somebody that lives near you said that it was gearing up for hotness, but I was like, I thought it was already hot. Um, anyway, so I'm going to go switch over to the randomizer so I can't see comments at the moment, and I'm going to pick names. So I have it set up so nobody can win twice in the same thing, and uh, and I'm going to start. Okay. Go. <clears throat> oh, yay, Nancy Olson, you are my first winner. Okay, pick another name and start. So I have two cards from last week. Oh, they're my peas cards from last week. Um, Happy, oh, <laughs> I don't know if Dot's on yet. I put Carson in. Carson's my winner. <laughs> Instead of putting Dot's name in there, I put Carson. Okay, so Carson is my second winner. So congratulations to both of you. I'm not sure. Oh, it was in the 80s and now he divides you for 90s to 100. Ugh, that sounds horrible. We had that for... I don't know, several days. And then, um, <laughs> well, when I was, when I was going through the names, um, when I was going through the names, um, I saw, uh, Dot's comment that Carson says night, night. <laughs> I love it. Okay. So, um, I have so many things to show you. I'm actually using because I'm partly because I'm doing um, two different. Well, I'll say bundles. Yeah, they're for sure bundles. One is a sweet, but I'm not even using the sweet. But I'm using two different things, so I'm sort of using a lot of product today. Uh, so I'm going to show you rather than um, try to do it. Well, no, this one I can do because it's six by six. Um, rather than showing you all up here, I'm going to show you, um, when I have my, when I have my, um, camera down, like where are the words? <laughs> okay. So the first thing that I'm showing you, um, you saw, I, I shared yesterday, uh, a card that we did for my. I think it was my first Christmas card class because we did sneak peeks of the of the product. Um, but I'm doing a stepped up version of it. So we're actually using, oh, let me, oh, I don't even, oh, shoot, I don't even have the stamp sets here. Just a second. Oh, there's one. There's two. I do have the stamp sets here. Good thing I sort of have a system. <laughs> Hi, Jamie. Okay, so the first thing that I'm using is um, Humble Home. And um, it's funny because it didn't it didn't stand out to me at first. And then I saw the punch and then like, you know, you had to. 
And if you've seen the mini catalog, it's all over the front of the mini catalog. They dress it up a lot more than I'm going to dress it up, but I'm still going to make it adorable. So this is Humble Home, and it coordinates with and is bundled with uh, a home, is it called Home Builder? And <laughs> that sounds funny, a Home Builder Punch. Um, so that's the bundle that I'm using. And it doesn't have uh, designer paper that goes with it, uh, but just a sec, is this the right page? So Humble Home is on page 46 of the mini catalog. And the designer paper that I'm using, well, that's not it, just a sec. It's from the bundle. It's funny, the bundle is actually a set of dies and the designer paper. The um, designer paper I'm using is from Take a Bow. It's not Take a Bow, it's Take a Bow because this bundle is intended to be able to um, make your own bows. That's page 39. I'll show you that when I put the camera down. But what's really cool about this that I love, so you get 48 sheets of six by six paper, but you're getting, because they want you to be able to make a bunch of bows of all the same kind if you want, uh, you just get four designs front and back. So that means you get 12 sheets of each of these designs. So this is great for if you're wanting matchy matchy products and or, or samples projects projects was the word I was looking for. Uh, so I it's just cute and I love it. And so this is what I'm using, page thirty nine. So since I have you, since I have you right here and it's open, this is this is the page. So you can make your own bows, and then those are all the designer papers. And then this right here. These are the dies so that you can make those bows that are on there. But I'm not making bows. I'm just making a cute project. So I think I showed you everything. Oh, I did not show you everything for this project. Um, all right. Next thing I'm going to do is put you down first. So I have my magic wand on backwards, upside down. And here we go. Okay. So the first thing that I'm going to do actually is I'm going to cut my or score my cardstock the way that I want. I'm going to make a Z fold. So this is Granny Apple Green, by the way, and I'm going to make a Z fold. So I'm going to, so this is, I cut the, the, the cardstock at four and a quarter. So I, this is four and a quarter by 11 and I'm going to score it at six inches. Sorry, I'm off. I'm going up there so I can butt against it because I'm going six inches and then I'm going three and a quarter inches. So that's how I always make a Z fold. I think that's all I need my trimmer for. Okay, so then we fold this front, fold this back, and then we have our Z fold, okay? Now again, before I do anything more, I think my my single must have, if you would have told me what's the one thing that you have to have in the catalog, it was gonna be this. And now I suddenly don't remember the name. Um, what is it? Perfect. I wanna say perfect plaid every time and that's not it. Anyway, it's a 3D embossing folder. Just a sec. I'm going to look in the back of my catalog since I have it right here. Find. Dies. Those are dies. I think the folders are back here. Oh, there they are. Forever plaid. Page 27. Okay. So I definitely wanted this. I love plaid, gingham, all that kind of stuff. So it's a 3D embossing folder. And what I'm gonna do, first of all, you need the um, specialty plate. There are numbers right here, uh, if you don't have it. Uh, one, five, four, seven, one, one. I think that might be something that's only shown online. Anyway, um, I am going to put just 
I'll show you. Just this front end uh, in the folder. And you always want to send your folders through with the hinge, the hinge through first. Thank you, Jamie. <laughs> I don't know if you beat me or I beat you because I didn't see it till just now. Um, you want to put the folder or the, the hinge through first so that you don't damage your embossing folder. Okay, sorry if I'm bouncing the tape. Oops, I'm chucking things. Just a second. I'm gonna need it later. <clears throat> okay, so I have my my Z fold here, and just this side has the plaid on it. Okay. So next, what I want to do, I'm going to design the inside first, actually, which I know that sounds sort of strange for me, but that's what I'm going to do. For some reason, I feel like I haven't stamped in forever. I, I don't know why I feel like that, because I just got done doing 60 swaps for, for the swaps that I sent out. Okay, so I'm going to put this down. Um, I'm using my mat so that when it doesn't want to start like that, then if I go on here, it will. So it's going to go right in here. And then I'm gonna, just going to use a tiny little um, strip of this, this design here. I'm going to put this here. And I didn't double check if they were exactly the same, so hopefully I don't have to trim anything. Oh good, it's perfect. Okay, so here's just the basic look. Hi Nancy, you are one of my winners. I've been stamping myself. Oh cool, that's the farthest I, as I can see, sorry. Um, so here's what my Z Fold looks like so far. Okay, now we're going to work with the house. That's so adorable. So I'm using Early Espresso, and this cardstock is Pecan Pie. So I'm gonna ink this up. And stamp it on here. Look how cute that is. I just love it, it's so adorable. All right. I'm going to set that aside for the moment. So we're going to punch this out. You're welcome, Nancy. So you need to keep in mind when you're, if you're doing a whole bunch of, a uh, whole bunch of houses, you need to keep in mind uh, that there, it's a builder punch, so there are other pieces that are here. So don't do them too close, whether they're, head to head or roof to roof or next to each other. I feel like next to each other, it's okay because it's not too far out. The heart, this is a heart and here's like, this is for the window, I think. So, um, and pieces go everywhere. But anyway, just keep in mind your spacing. So here's my cute little house. And what I'm going to do where are my pieces? They were all right here, and now they're not. How does that happen? I haven't moved. Are these pieces? Oh, there they are. Okay. So I have one of these, um, one of these designer papers from Take a Bow, and I'm going to put this on here. And I want it to be, I want it to be over here. And I'm going to put my house. I found my dimensionals. Is there stamps for those little pieces as well? Let me, let's look at this. Okay, so there's, um, there's the house and the windows uh, for you to do. So like if you wanted to 
put these on. I don't, I don't think that there's a punch for this piece. I guess you just have to cut that one out. I don't know. Um, so like if you were using the, if you just wanted to build your own house, like it, by putting a roof on another piece of paper, I don't really know, or use brick here. So there's stamps for the windows here and there's a wreath. This is not a punch, a part of the punch either, but fairly simple for you to cut out. And no, the heart is just, it's just a punch all by itself. So there's, thank you for coming, Merry Christmas, for the sweet gift, welcome home from our house to yours, to from, and then the roof, and the wreath, and then there's the doors and house and windows. So there you go. All right, so on my house, I'm gonna put one at the top, Two at the bottom. Mm, I decided, I decided that I'm gonna put this on my, my, you're welcome. Uh, I'm gonna put this on my project first. Oh, but I can't yet. Okay, so this is gonna be my base and I wanna put it on my project before I put the dimensionals on because it's just easier doing your the front of the catalog helped me figure out how to stamp, how the stamp and windows work. I wondered too. Yeah. Oh, I should show you the front of the catalog. There's more samples of, of here. So, yeah. So this one looks, looks like you're just going to be cutting the door out itself. And so this one, I think what they did is they stamped white on crumb cake or no that looks like it might be pebbled path white on pebbled path the white brick on pebbled path and then pebbled path roof on pebbled path that's what it looks like to me could be early espresso I don't know but that's what it looks like um and then this you're just gonna have to to cut out oh and here's your heart so you can put your heart up there yeah, so there's lots of cute little ideas that you can do here. Um, <clears throat> oh, this one, they actually cut the bow out of the wreath here to just put the bow on the front of the door. Lots of ideas. Most of those are much more work than what I want to do. <laughs> if you know me, I just want it quick and simple and whatever. All right, so I'm gonna have this. Okay, so this is from, oh, so I have to show you. I did not, I did not set this up to show you, I don't think, but page 27. So page 27 is the Reindeer Days, and there's some scrapbooking stuff in the scrapbooking um, brochure that coordinate with all this too. I'm with you there, quick and simple, but right. So I used the embossing folder. I'm using the um, the red and real red and white baker's twine. And uh, a spoiler alert, which you probably already figured out, is um, peppermints. Um, they are absolutely adorable. I just love them. And unfortunately, if you didn't hear me earlier, hi, Jamie. Um, they, unless something changed, they are not available till September 16 because everybody ordered them. But I got some. Okay, so I'm wrapping this around a couple times um, around the end of this early espresso here. Just want to make a knot, just adding more color here and there. My fingers feel like they don't want to work. There we go. So I'll slide these a little bit. The reindeers, no, the peppermints. The um, peppermint embellishments. They're just too darn cute, honestly. Okay, so here's my base. This is what's gonna be for my house. 
and I want to put this on <clears throat> on my project before. Oops, that's not the one I want. So I'm using. Um, I don't want to bother with tear and tape. I just tried this. Um, it is also strong. This is Stamp and Seal Plus, and you just have to be careful when you do it because sometimes it just rips up your your cardstock if you do it wrong. And I pulled off little pieces of it. Um, okay. So we're going to put this on. Phew, I was worried. My mom was going to call you to order the reindeers for my birthday. Well, that's fun. Okay. So this is going... I'm putting it up a little bit, and you'll see why in a, in a minute. So I have my... You always have to remember when you're doing a Z-fold that you don't want the adhesive right here or you'll just completely close your card. Um, so I have it behind here and behind here. So now I have this here and I'm gonna put my house on here. Peel these off. And this goes right here. I wish we had a white gel pen because I feel like these these pretty squiggly things should be white. But I can make it cute, just wait. All right, before I add my finishing touches, I'm gonna add my words that I want. So I have Merry Christmas here. Make sure it's working right. Merry Christmas here goes right here. Ah, so cute. And then we're gonna open it. And it says, from our house to yours. So we got that. Okay, so here's my card. But peppermints. Okay, can you believe this is my second package of peppermints and it's almost gone. So first of all, this is the cutest part. First of all, there's there's three sizes. You can barely tell that because they're almost all gone. Um, they're small, medium, and large. And I'm going to take the smallest one. They're using it with the, ha, 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 look how cute it is. Using it with your take your pick tool, um, it, it has varying results. I feel like the putty sticks to this too much because this this isn't, how do I explain this? It's almost like a sponge. So the putty wants to stick to it. Um, it's just different than the texture or the, the material of most um, embellishments. So... I I haven't been using my take your pick tool with this. There you go, there's my card. This was my swap. So same design basically as the one that I showed you yesterday, but lots more details. So we had the embossing folder, the peppermints, the still have take take about and still have the red and white baker's one. I think it's like polymer clay. Huh. All right. That sort of makes sense, I guess, with the peppermint being sold out. Can you order them for the back order? No. So, <clears throat> um, <laughs> thanks, Sherry. Um, no, unfortunately, Stampin' Up! does not do back orders right now. They, um... They haven't in a few years now. So it's just non-orderable. So no, you cannot um, order with the hopes of it, of getting them on the 16th. Um, so sorry, you just have to be patient. Um, so here, this is all, this is what we got. And I'm going to move on. So I need to, to um, thank you. I love the card too. I... When I um, did it for our Christmas class, Rebecca, I was, I knew the things that I wanted to use and I sort of couldn't put it all together. And then I just changed the colors up and it had helped me. So, okay, the next thing 
I'm going to show you in the catalog first. The next thing is, um, the suite is called Regal Winter. Did you guys like this, this two-page spread? Just these deep colors are amazing. So I wanted to, I used this um, for my second swap that I did. And um, so this is page 34 and 35. And I'm gonna show you some of the stuff up close. Hi, Kathy. So here is the designer paper from, the designer paper itself is called Regal Winter. If you haven't figured it out yet, <clears throat> the designer paper is the name as the suite, if there is a suite, and the um, stamp set and dies have the same name. So this is Regal Winter, and the suite is Regal Winter, and then I'll show you the stamp set in a second. It's called Regal Flora. So here is uh, one design. So there's lots of, it's lots of deep colors. This is Wild Wheat for the most part and pretty peacock and then uh, i'm not even going to try to name all of those colors i can name them on the back of the packaging but i'm not going to try to name them here and then here's more it's just sort of one color or shades of one color so this stamp set it's not really a christmas set it's just a deep colors of um, of flowers. It's more like thinking of you, that sort of thing. This one and the first one, for a second, I'm like, did they give me two of the same? These two, these two pages look very similar, so they must think that everybody wants all of these colors together, because this isn't the same. There's this deep, the blackberry here, and this is more the cherry cobbler, probably. That's my guess. But anyway, they are very similar. But not the same, because look, here's the back of that one. And here's the back of the other one. Then, you know I love Blackberry Bliss, or you should by now. That's pretty peacock. This one, I'm not, I feel like this is a combination of Blackberry and Cherry Cobbler, but I'm not sure. These are so you. Awesome. All right, so I'm going to read the back of all the colors. So it's Berry Burst, Blackberry Bliss, Cherry Cobbler, Night of Navy, Pretty Peacock, Shaded Spruce, and Wild Wheat. Um, yes, they are gorgeous. And now I want to show you the stamp set. I got it out. I said, oh, here it is. And now I've lost it. Regal Flora. Where did you go? Oh, there it is. Okay, so here is the stamp set, Regal Flora. So wishing you were there to give you a hug. Wishing I were there to give you a hug. Sending love your way, thanks. It's missing you. And then there's flowers and whatever. And then the dyes are here. <laughs> They're supposed to be here anyway. Did I not even bring over the dyes? The dyes are cool. Well, it's a good thing somewhere here. I have a, I have a die. Seriously, I don't know where I put it. It is a really pretty stamp set. Um, just like I gotta peek over here and see if I tucked it back in with my dies. I was doing some. There they are. I was doing some cleaning last night. <laughs> Imagine. Um, you can't tell it by my background, but. Uh, but I did it. So look at these dies. These are cool. So some of them, I'm not exactly sure what this is. I'm guessing that it's for cutting out a strip of flowers or something. Um, so these all <clears throat> cut out all of these pieces. And then this is just a really, a different kind of shape, a cool shape. This is what I'm going to do here. So actually, I decided I'm not going to do it because I have one sitting here waiting for me. So when you run it, I'm going to show it to you. When you run it through the machine, you end up getting this piece that comes from the middle. So it's 
stitched on the inside and then what's left over it it actually creates a ring i think i threw away my rings or a, what do you call that maybe i should just do it should i just do it i'm gonna grab my mini machine instead of this big one <clears throat> sometimes i can't use my words well so i can't tell you what i'm trying to to tell you, so I'll just show you. <clears throat> All right, so put this down on here. Remember, I'm always making a capital E when I'm using my mini boss. Capital E means the other end that goes through first looks is too long on the top and bottom and short in the middle. So this is long, oops, let's get out of the camera. Long, short, long. All right. Get this out of the way first. Thin mat or frame piece? I don't know what that means. Okay, so we have this piece that I already showed you, and then this is well, you can see when I do this, uh, there's another frame that's here. Is that what you're trying to say, Nancy? I just didn't understand the thin mat, I guess. <clears throat> Where's my take your pick tool? Probably put that away too. Yep, there it is. Okay. So I poke this out and then this comes out of there kind of hard because it's it's stitched and it's thin. Okay, so you get this frame too. So if you wanted to run through two different colors, like maybe design paper and plain or white and dark or something like that, you'd have to run it through twice, but then you'd have a different colored frame around here if you wanted. So we're not gonna go do that much. <clears throat> what we are gonna do is stamp here. All right, I gotta put this away so that I don't lose it. I don't have my, I don't have my magnet out. So putting these back away. Okay, so what I want to do is use Blackberry Bliss and with this tiny little flower and I'm gonna go one, two, three, and then I'm gonna use wild wheat with these leaves. I'm going to ink it up and go one, two, ink it up again, three. So I sort of just made, I don't know, just, I just wanted, wanted to bring out these colors some more. <clears throat> Okay, I'm done with this. So even though I use this die piece, my card is almost done. Haha. <laughs> and you haven't even seen all the pieces. Where did they go? I haven't even seen all the pieces. <laughs> just kidding. I found them. Okay, so this piece is just for the inside. Where did my... Oops. So for this one, I guess I could do the same sort of same sort of colors on the inside, but I didn't specifically design the inside. Mostly because I didn't have to. <laughs> one of my swaps requires me to stamp the inside, and the other one does not. But since we're at it, let's just do this here. So we're gonna do 
this here. <clears throat> so again, these colors are Blackberry Bliss and Wild Wheat. <laughs> it's funny, I know some people, including Jamie, Jamie Sales does not like Wild Wheat, but I like it with certain colors. So there you go, there's my inside. That's all I'm doing. Uh, my friend Cheryl, she would design the whole thing with designer paper strips and everything which I sort of did on my last card, but... <clears throat> All right, setting that aside for the moment. Okay, so here is the design paper that I'm using. That first swipe is me not getting any out and having to start on here if I don't do what I tell you guys to do. <laughs> do what I say, not what I do. That is not a good plan. Okay, Okay. so this is going to go, i got to make sure I know what I'm doing here. This is going to go on here like this. And before I put my, I wouldn't have put them together, but they do look nice with what you're doing. Thank you. So... I got the idea from my designer paper. That's, I feel like, where I get a lot of my color combinations from is I love using designer paper, and so um, I just sort of take it as a cue. Okay, so here is the ribbon that is part of this suite. It's Blackberry Bliss and Gold. Can you see it? So I'm just going to put a little bit on here. So I'm going to run tape right across here it doesn't have to hold on to the whole thing just the main part so I'm gonna lay this here I'm sort of oops is that straight I'm not sure that it is um, I want it to hold on to it the most part and yeah the ribbons really pretty it's a little bit wider than what I prefer, but it's it's okay. I think it's, I don't remember, I'm gonna look. Half inch. Yeah, I like three eighths of an inch, but half is my max. This works for me. All right, so here's my card so far. And now we're going to put um, dimensionals on the back of here. Now I lost my dimensionals. Had them earlier. I see the minis that I'm going to need in a minute. There's one. I'm going to make this work. Let's use this bottom one. Okay. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so this is going to go here. All right. And then, uh oh, there's a tiny little piece of cardstock that I need. <laughs> Here somewhere. Last I knew. Might just have to cut a new one. Oh, there it is. Okay. So we're gonna use Missing You and Memento. <clears throat> I agree. This is that I had no interest in, but everything I'm seeing with it is very pretty. Well, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Hi, Dot. Carson won. <laughs> you almost missed me. When I when I was going to put names in the randomizer, um, I saw you say that Carson said night night. And uh, so I put Carson's name in instead of yours. So <laughs> Okay. That is too dark for me. I was gonna I was gonna accept it and then it changed my mind. 
Let's try it again. Now it's lopsided. Which one do we like better? I'm going to go with the dark one, I guess. Okay, so this is so skinny that we need the mini, mini dimensionals. Those are mini glue dots. One, two, three. All right, so this is going here. Oh, I forgot. So I cut it this long, but then, so this is two inches long, but then when I actually went to put it down just be, just for how it fit, I trimmed it as far as I could close to the dimensionals. I forgot that part. It's just a personal preference for how how it's sitting on the card. This one doesn't seem straight now. Okay. So this is gonna go right here. And then, instead of the, <clears throat> at least I get to see what you did and yay. <laughs> well, I'm sending it to you, Dot, but, you know, I just had to put his name in there. <laughs> okay, so these are called Gold Textured Adhesive Back Dots. When I first got them, I wasn't sure that I liked the color of gold. Like, this is definitely not a sparkly gold, you know what I mean? It's more of a, it's almost more of a yellow, but it goes really well with, um, with, the wild wheat and this whole card. Okay, so we're gonna go, we're gonna use a small one on here. Go on. Again, I'm not using a take your pick tool. These roundy ones are troublesome sometimes. So there you go, there's my card. Uh, so this again is Regal Flora. And at least I'm in time for <laughs> some dumb dots. You're right. You got some dots. Okay, so I'm going to put you guys back up and I'll show you the cards again. Um, put you backwards, upside down. And here we are. Okay, so here's my Regal Flora or Regal Winter, depending on uh, if you call it by the suite or by the bundle uh, card. I didn't use, I should show you the, the embellishments that are um, with the bundle, but I think I put them in my box instead of have them here. So um, Blackberry Bliss and Wild Wheat is for the most part what these colors are. And then, um, where's the one I just made? I'll show you, I have two different ones of these because I didn't have the first one that I made. So here's the other one uh, with the Humble Home bundle. So here's the one that I just made. And I didn't, I had one more sheet of this, of this one that Dot would prefer. <laughs> this was what my swap was. I used the polka dots one. But there was only one sheet and I wanted to have it full for when I showed you the, the four designs of of the take a bow designer paper. Okay, so showed you my two swaps. I showed you, oh, I told you, thank you for, thank you, Marlene, for your encouragement. Um, so the mini catalog is live now. You can order it um, uh, online or at club or whatever. There's also a scrapbooking brochure that is only, uh, it's only digital. It's not, um, it's not something that Stampin' Up! is going to print. Um, I'm going to rewatch and see how you did the rounded corners. Rounded corners. Oh, it's a die. Um, <clears throat> thank you, Jamie. Um, so you, the scrapbooking brochure is online only for there. 
they're releasing one now, and then they're also releasing one in January. Uh, again, just digital. It's like the stuff is paper. It's not like digital scrapbooking, so you're only uh, doing things online. Um, but the brochure actually is only digital, and it's going to be the same way in January. But then in May, uh, there will be a lot more scrapbooking products in the full catalog. So, um, so it won't be, they won't just have the digital ones anymore. So what else? A week from tomorrow is my BOGO sale, uh, both in person, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. here, uh, and then online, uh, Facebook Live, but it will not be in this, in this, on this page. It's not on uh, Facebook.com slash Dazzle by Stamping. There's a specific um, online BOGO group that I, is separate that you need to join that group to be able to come find it. So that will be next Thursday. And uh, also, just a heads up, um, that Saturday, the 14th, so a couple days later, uh, we will be opening up registration for our next retreat, which is November 2, Saturday, November 2. And I already have things open for World Card Making Day shoebox swap and another Christmas uh, Christmas class. And I don't think I have another All Occasions open yet. Anyway, there's lots going on. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, let me know if you have questions about the catalog at all or just go look around and have fun ordering. <laughs> By the way, with that in mind, or, or having said that, that reminded me, I am still trying to earn my next incentive trip. Um, it is to the Grand Floridian Resort uh, at Disney. Had to wipe your nose. Chris got something. <laughs> You're funny, Dot. Um, I am still working towards it, uh, and I do need help this month. And so... Hopefully you find lots of retired stuff that you want. And remember how it works for uh, the BOGO sale is all the retired stuff that you choose is the free part. And then as much as you choose, you have to order new product uh, in that amount or more. Um, and then that's the buy part. So thank you so much, uh, Marsha. And you're welcome. And I will see you again next week, Wednesday. Uh, same time for Facebook Live and have a great week. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye.